from Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Massachusetts, it's theCUBE, covering VTUG Winter Warmer 2018, presented by SiliconANGLE. I'm Stu Miniman, and this is theCUBE's fifth year at the VTUG Winter Warmer. 2018 is the 12th year of this event. Always love when we get to talk to some of the users at the conference, which is why I'm really happy to introduce to our audience, Sue Morrow, who is a network manager at United Methodist Homes. Thanks for joining me, Sue. No problem. All right, so uh, first, tell me a little bit about yourself and uh, you know, what brings you all the way from upstate New York uh, <laughs> you know, to, to, to come to the VTUG? Well, I like to go to conferences whenever I can, continue my uh, education in IT. Um, I kind of, I grew up with computers in my house in the 80s. My dad was a physics teacher and a scientist, so we always had uh, a Commodore 64 or an Amiga in our house. Well, growing up, when most people had Atari, we had computers. Yeah, so uh, so I totally, so <laughs> Commodore 64, classic. Yeah. I, I myself was a uh, Tandy Radio Shack, you yep. know, the TRS-80 Model 3, so yep. Yep. in a similar era. Yep, um, I actually took a, a basic coding class on a TRS-80 when I was around 10, I think, so. Anyway, grew up with computers and uh, somehow stumbled into IT later in life, but uh, so that's why I'm here. Okay, and uh, United Methodist Homes, uh, mm -hmm. tell us just a little bit about what, you know, what the, the mission of the company is. Uh, United Methodist Homes is a long-term care corporation. Uh, we have four facilities, two in the Binghamton area and two in northeastern Pennsylvania. Um, and we have all uh, levels of care from nursing homes, skilled care, up to independent living, and everything in between. Okay, and as network manager, what, what, what's under your purview? Well, it's kind of a, a, a silly title, actually. In, in, in long-term care, or in healthcare, or nonprofits as we are, um, you often wear many hats, and so that's sort of a weird title for me, but I uh, supervise our, our help desk, which we serve centrally from our corporate office. We serve um, about 600 actual computer users and all in total about 1,200 employees who interface with the technology in some way. So I supervise the help desk, I make sure our network is running well, IT has changed over the years so that we're now providing more of a service and making sure that everything is you know, up and running network-wise for everyone instead of having, keeping our servers running all the time. Yeah, it re reminds me uh, the, the old saying, you know, it was like, oh, the network is the computer, yes. things like that, so you, you, you've got uh, both ends of it. Yes. Um, so, you, what kind of things are you looking at, you know, from, from a technology standpoint when you come to an event like this? Mm -hmm. I, I think, you know, did you catch some of the keynotes this morning? There was a mm -hmm. broad spectrum. Yes. What are the kind of things that you're digging into and find interesting? Yeah, the keynotes are really interesting. I think the, uh, the first one that I went to with Luigi and uh, Chris was great, you know, just to kind of expand your thinking about your own, your own career personally and, and where you want to go with your life was really interesting. Um, I also, uh, watched um, Randall do his coding, which is completely outside of what I do every day, but was fascinating. Um, and then uh, uh, the last major keynote was fantastic. Um, I think that, you know, from my perspective in my company, we're kind of small and we don't do a whole lot of, you know, we don't run apps and things like that. So the things that we have virtualized is mostly storage. So I'm looking at, you know, better ways that we can manage our storage and stuff. Most of the applications that we run now are SaaS applications hosted by somebody else in their cloud or a public cloud or wherever. So I'm not really so much looking at, at the cloud technologies like, you know, more businesses are that are providing an application for, for their company. Yeah, it, it sounds like, uh, you know, Cloud and SaaS is mm -hmm. you know, part of the overall strategy. Mm -hmm. um, have you been seeing that dynamic change in your company? How, do, how does it impact kind of what you're doing or is it just kind of a, a separate it's organization? It's definitely, yeah, it's definitely been a shift in the last few years. You know, we used to run all of our applications in-house. You know, um, long-term care is caught up now with the hospitals and so we have our electronic medical record which is a hosted application. Um, whereas, you know, up until five years ago, that was an on-premises application that we hosted and had to run and maintain and update and upgrade and make sure it was available. And so, 
now, you know, it's so that it's definitely been a shift that everything is now hosted. And so we just make sure that our network is up and running and support our users and all of their issues when they break things, flip their screens, drop something, yeah, I mean the, provide the hardware for them, the all that sort of stuff. The pace of innovation change. On the news this right. week, they were saying, okay, medical records on your iPhone right. um, is up for debate. Uh, how, how does regulation impact kind of your your day to day uh, activities, mm. and you know what, what what are some of the you know challenges in that area? Um, absolutely, the, you know uh, one of the other things we have to do is um, interface with the providers. You know we have medical providers that come in from the outside, and they need to access our EMR also. So we need to pr provide access for them on sometimes whatever device they bring in, which is not always compatible. So we have a whole other set of challenges there. You know where we can manage. Our, our computers for our employees by pushing out policies and things that are required for the application. When someone comes in from the outside, it isn't necessarily set up right, so we have that other set of challenges. And regulation-wise, yes, you know, there's always, the government is always pushing out new and updated regulations for healthcare, and we have to keep on top of that too. And of course, we have HIPAA concerns and things like that, which is also comes into play when you're talking about cloud host and any hosted application. We have to be concerned about HIPAA as well. Yeah, um, I'm w wondering in mm -hmm. the, you know when I when I look at the space that you're in, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the ultimate goal is you want you know the the, the patients, mm -hmm. the, the people that, that at your company to be able to spend more time, help them, mm -hmm. um, not be caught up in the technology right. uh, of, of things. Could you maybe talk a little bit about that dynamic? Yeah, I. Uh, one of the things that I always say is we need to give our employees the tools that they need to do their job most efficiently. You know, a nurse is, a nurse needs to be ready to go at the beginning of her shift on her laptop, ready to pass meds, and when they can't remember their password or that computer isn't working, you know, my, my team needs to work as quickly as we can to get them back to work. That's our, you know, we, we serve, our, our users, really, you know, we're not there being all techy and, you know, we just, they want us to fix them and get them back to work and that's what we do. So we put tools in their hands, any, you know, device that they need to make them more efficient. And I, uh, I, I try hard to provide a variety of devices for, you know, people have different preferences on how they do their work. Some people prefer a laptop, some people prefer to stand at a, wall-mounted touchscreen and, and document. Some people want to carry a tablet with them. So I try to provide a range of devices um, so that they can have whatever suits them and makes them most comfortable to get their job done. Yeah, love that. It's uh, it's not necessarily about the, the cool or trendy or mm -hmm. thing. It's it's about you know getting business done. Mm -hmm. You know, helping and in your in, in your case, you know, in, enabling your employees to really you know help the people mm -hmm. that, that are there. Uh, yeah. that, Anything you want to highlight as to things you're excited to look at this show or just technology in general? Um, I'm just kind of here for the, the general nature of it. I like the, I enjoy the networking and getting to talk to people um, and you know, keeping current in what's happening in the industry and my career, so that's why I come. All right, well, Sue Morrow, really appreciate you coming and sharing Absolutely. with our audience. User groups like this, all about the users. Happy to have lots of them on the program. So big thanks to the VTUG group uh, for bringing us some great guests. And we'll be back with more coverage here. I'm Stu Miniman, you're watching theCUBE.